Traffic is indeed one of the most important type of exposures that we have identified in the last years in research. The uh, traffic is a source for very, very highly concentrated uh, mixtures of, of toxicants. And it is becoming clearer and clearer that people who spend a lot of time in proximity to this uh, type of exposures, they suffer all kinds of health problems uh, more frequently. Therefore, we should really focus uh, also policies on, on traffic, uh, which means think about how to separate uh, where people stay and where people drive. And of course, think about cleaner cars. I, I am totally convinced that uh, the future car should have no emissions. It is just not a good idea to have all this combustion of, of fuels, of fossil fuels, uh, as close to people as we currently do that. We should not distribute this type of uh, toxic um, emissions where people stay. I'm from the south of France and then Montpellier, and they actually have no traffic in the center of the city. So it's a, it's a walking area, and that's happening in many places, and they have now trolleybus. It's, it's, it's crazy because in the, in the beginning of the 20th century, you had trolleybus everywhere, and then they took the trolleybus out, and now they realize it's really good because you don't have exhaust close to the people. If you are a runner, if you are a jogger, to jog along a busy highway, it's just something that is not a good choice, and it's not a necessity. So there are things that we can tell people uh, in their daily life how to deal with air pollution, given that the problem will stay with us for a couple of years.